Time now to get you out the door with your GMJ on the go. All right, just a few minutes past the hour. We begin right now with the latest on rescue efforts after a massive cargo ship tipped on its side in the St. Simon Sound. So Lewis Turner, he is anchoring our live team coverage out there from St. Simons. So let's go to him now with more. I like that you emphasize the fact this is a rescue effort right now. Yeah, Lou Turner here on the banks of the St. Simon Sound. This is uh, right by the pier, but look, now the sun's up, you can get a really good look. Rescue is being underscored now. Four people remain. 20 have been rescued right at 2 a.m. when the ship began to list and is now on its side here. But four remain on the inside, and the Coast Guard from overnight says they believe they could be alive, considering they've been communicating through tapping through the metal hall. That's very encouraging news. Rescue efforts will continue this morning. They had a fire yesterday that, had, that paused operation. Plus, it's so unsettled, considering just how fast the tide moves, and the current is right here in the sound. Now, port operations all closed, and that's going to have a big impact on everyone who works here and around the Glynn County area. Lana Harris with more on that now. Good morning, I'm Anna Harris here at the Port of Brunswick where the cargo ship that's capsized is causing wide ranging economic impacts, both small scale and large scale. So there it is still out in the water this morning. Dozens of workers here are unable to get paid for work on the ships as all marine traffic is still not being allowed to enter the port. That means employers have no employees to work on their ships because they can't get in. And overall, it shut down one of the busiest ports in the south, particularly for auto and heavy equipment manufacturers. And we're told the port will not be reopened until Coast Guard officials give the OK after rescue efforts have been completed. Here near the Port of Brunswick, I'm Anna Harris. First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Lonnie. Yeah, a ship operated by Hyundai Glovis. They have some 55 ships, one behind me weighs some 71,000 tons and had 4,200 vehicles on it on its way out from Brunswick to Baltimore. Rescue operations will continue this morning. We'll continue to track and as soon as we know something, we'll put it right there on firstcoastnews.com as well as the app. So get that handy. In the meantime, I'm Lewis Turner, First Coast News on your side. 55 minutes now past the hour. First Baptist Church, a mainstay in downtown Jacksonville for nearly two centuries, will be downsizing its sprawling campus. Members decided yesterday to borrow $30 million to shrink from a 10 block campus down to one over the next two years. Church leaders say the cost of maintaining all of its buildings was simply getting out of hand. Let's get a last check of your forecast now with your storm expert meteorologist Mike Prangley. Let's do it. In fact, our big Monday motivation, well, we've got some relief this week. We've got some cooler uh, weather by tomorrow. We take a look at the needed rain by late week. Today, though, it's about the heat wave hitting day five. And as we take a look at the big picture, notice that ridge of high pressure. The big heat dome will break, but today we're getting ready uh, for that record heat. 97 Jacksonville, 100 on the west side. Seven day forecast. Let's show you that relief. Here it comes uh, by especially late week. There's highs only in the mid to upper 80s with our rain chances increasing Thursday and Friday. Still following this crash here along Normandy near the ramp there for 295 northbound. Please be careful. You've got several officers there on scene and a tow truck and out towards the Lottie area along County Road 125 and Northwest 22nd Avenue. A crash there involving a vehicle versus horse and they're saying that those lanes are blocked. We'll have team coverage for you throughout the day on the cra the ship collapse out there in on the St. Simon Sound. We're back in just 30 minutes with much more. Good morning, Jacksonville.